Hey guys, Rick Danham here with Whole Moly Outdoors. Today we're diving into another gear review on a product that I've been using here for the 2016 season and having some great success with it. Even caught my personal best kokanee down in Utah. So I'm talking about guys today, Olympic Tackle Manufacturing products. These are hand tied um, trolling flies. A very productive way to fish for kokanee, trout, salmon, anything that swims guys we've caught it already and I tell you what I'm so excited to try some of the new products that I got shipped me and uh, it's gonna be really fun in the fall changing up a little bit for some bigger stuff targeting some kings but really guys I wanted to show you how effective this product is and how easy it is to use as well as what's there to be available so let's take a look and dive into some Olympic tackle manufacturing products so as we look here, we got a lot of different stuff in front of us. I'm really going to start from the left and move across as we get larger in the product size. But farthest to the to left here, we have our kokanee snacks. Now these are a two and a half inch size, which I have right in front of me here. A really nice custom trolling fly that looks like a little hoochie skirt in the water. But really what's awesome about these and with all of these is they have UV tied in, there's a glow, you guys have a lot of different things that you don't get out of a normal hoochie skirt. And because these are a trolling fly, you can do a whole lot more because they weigh less. So your dodgers get more kick to these lures. You can add beads to color up underneath, you can put a wiggle fin disc in front to get extra action. Really, these flies create more opportunity for customization for the angler than just throwing on a little squid skirt. So I've really gravitated towards these this year because of those reasons. And you can see in front here, I have just a couple of the ones I've been fishing with lately. But these are the guys that I was using down in Flaming Gorge. And it's just a custom little mini plankton from Rocky Mountain Tackle underneath with the orange glow on top. Little UV burst smile blade from Max Lure. Same thing on this side. Just a little different color combo with the purple and pink. And those were crushing kokanee down there in Utah. Absolutely crushing it. And so you have wide variety of colors from purple to greens to oranges and pinks to whites. Everything really is an awesome uh, color combination. And then you step up from that two and a half inch you go up to a three inch called the trout snack. So these are the kokanee snacks here on my left and the trout snacks here on the next size up. Now these are just a little bit bigger version basically of what you have here in the smaller for the kokanee and these can be used for everything as well. So let's say you're looking for a bigger bait fish tile imitation on big cutthroat like Washington or you want to go chase some bigger uh, let's say pinks are running they want something just a little bit bigger. You can go around the three inch size. A lot of versatility in these guys, especially this line in particular. I really, really have had a lot of success. And you can do a lot of things with them. For your kokanee fishermen, this was my hottest ticket rig for those big kokanee down there in Utah. The purple and pink, couple radical glow beads underneath, about a 10 inch leader. To a Rocky Mountain Tackle Mamba Dodger Watermelon. I got two five pound kokanee on that. Really can't argue the results. I was so pleased with how that worked. And you know you can also look over at a couple other options. You could do more of the sling blade style. Uh, that Rocky Mountain Tackle has. In their signature series. Or go to the Dick Knight Dodgers. They all are very effective. And you can really fish these particularly effective. By just changing up. A couple different rigging options on your leader length however you want it so they're very versatile and can catch a wide range of different species just on these alone and as we start looking across here you'll start seeing a little bit different we got some candlefish patterns some mini squid and then all of a sudden we start getting into some herring patterns and some anchovies and really start getting to our big heavy-duty salmon stuff now we're talking on this side stuff that we're going to be using for fall salmon. Now it could be blackmouth as well here in Washington, but right now we're in the fall looking at 
I wish a coho run, but unfortunately not going to be happening for us Puget Sound anglers. Now, these would be ideal for your coho trolling around 3.5 to 4 miles an hour with one of these Dick Knight attractor dog uh, flashers, excuse me. Paired up behind these suckers, you'll be catching fish left and right. I've already seen the action of how these are on the water. You can see the response from the fish as they chase these rigs down. A very high quality tied um, rig from Fred and I really have found uh, these are going to be the next added uh, advantage in my boat. So I start fishing these a whole lot more and I'm starting to catch a lot more bigger fish. Um, but the false salmon sizes here and colors these are going to be absolutely killer when I get out there chasing those big fish. So I'm really looking forward to doing that here. And pairing up with the right flashers, you know, you're going to run your 36 to 42 inch on your uh, rigs there with two 5 hour hooks, barbless and Puget Sound, and you're ready to go. You could tip that with a little bit of herring. Don't even have to. But guys, these. What I found are so versatile and however you rig them, you can go just a plain bear like that to a little smile blade, you could put a wiggle fin disc, you could put a little spinner blade up in front. These create so much versatility and as us for fishermen, having something that provides that without having to go retie, you could just add something to your rig, that is going to be something that helps you catch more fish instead of having to go carry a ton of product in your boat so really looking forward to seeing what I can be catching here this rest of the season and in the next year with the Olympic tackle guys and I really hope you can check them out as well and take a look at what the great products they have to offer so this is Rick Denham here with Holy Moly Outdoors signing off take care guys and good luck on the water and check out Olympic tackle fish on Hey guys, thanks for watching today. I really hope you enjoyed the video. This is Rick Denham with Holy Moly Outdoors signing off. If you want to see some more of these videos, please subscribe to my channel and take a look at the videos that are playing above. Lots more fishing action and instructional videos to come. Thanks for watching. Tight lines and good luck on the water. Fish on!